Hi everyone. In the next three minutes, let's go over a classic linked list problem, detecting if a linked list has a cycle. Here's the problem. You're given a singly linked list, and you need to figure out if it contains a cycle. A cycle happens when a node's next pointer links back to an earlier node, creating a loop. Once you enter that loop, you just keep going in circles and never reach the end. For example, imagine a list with nodes 1, 2, 3, and 4. If node 4's next pointer connects back to node 2, you'd get 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, and so on, forever. A simple approach is to use a set to keep track of the nodes you've already visited. As you traverse the list, you store each node in the set. If you come across a node that's already there, you know you've found a cycle. This method is straightforward, but it requires extra ON space to store the nodes, and the code can be a bit more involved. A more efficient and elegant approach is the fast and slow pointer technique, also known as Floyd's cycle detection algorithm. Think of it like two people running on a track, one running fast and one running slow. If the track is a circle, no matter where they start, the faster runner will eventually catch up to the slower one. It's exactly the same in a linked list. Let's walk through an example. Suppose the list is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and node 5 points back to node 2, creating a cycle. We set up two pointers. The slow pointer moves one step at a time, and the fast pointer moves two steps at a time. At the start, both are at node 1. In the first round, the slow pointer moves to 2, and the fast pointer moves to 3. In the second round, the slow pointer moves to 3, and the fast pointer moves to 5. In the third round, the slow pointer moves to 4, and the fast pointer moves to 3. In the fourth round, the slow pointer moves to 5, and the fast pointer also moves to 5. At this point, they meet. The fast pointer has caught up to the slow pointer, which means the list contains a cycle. The Python code for this is very simple. The slow pointer moves one step, the fast pointer moves two steps. If the list has a cycle, they'll eventually meet inside the loop, and we return true. If fast or fast dot next becomes none first, there's no cycle, and we return false. This method only requires a single traversal, runs in O, N, time, and uses O1 extra space. Very efficient. I'll leave you with a question. If we already know the list has a cycle, how can we find the exact node where the cycle begins? That's another clever trick, and we'll go through it in the next video.